up guys John back here with another video and today we're going to be talking and opening the box of this bad boy right here the D-Link AC2600 router which just came in the mail literally seconds ago so uh, I was really interested in trying it out see how it goes and I want to do a quick unboxing today just so you can see everything that's included with it what it comes with but uh, it's pretty straightforward I mean it's it's a supposedly a high performance router so uh, it does have uh, four antennas on there compared to the normal two or three, but just to go over the specs real quick, does have the dual core processor right here, and that's going to be better for the wired and wireless systems. Uh, it does also have the beam, AC smart beam, which is a, a beautiful feature in my opinion. That's what tracks the actual Wi-Fi going, dispersing to whatever systems you have it going to. Dual band, obviously, which is going to be your 2.4 gigahertz and then your 5 gigahertz which they are claiming up to 800 gigahertz, or I'm sorry, 800 megabytes per second on the uh, 2.4 and then 100, or I'm sorry, 1,733 megabytes on the five gigahertz network. So very curious to see how that's gonna work out. Um, but it does have their, I know, right? Their Moon, their moon Mamio, I think they say it, I don't even know how they say that, Moon Mimo technology. Um, and that's for uh, pretty much streaming a bunch of different systems all at once. Uh, it does have the 4x4 technology, which as you can tell, supports four uh, simultaneous data streams for increased speed and performance. It does have the 160 megahertz support, and it does come with the USB 2.0 and 3.0 storage or ports. And it does have the connected home, which I'm assuming is going to be, like it says, for your 4K video streaming and your Netflix and YouTube and all that stuff. So supposedly this thing's supposed to be very powerful, so uh, I'm going to definitely check it out, see how it goes. But... Stay tuned for more. All right, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open real quick. Grab my trusty knife. It's a beautiful knife. This is my SOG Mini Agus Tanto blade. Very nice. Go ahead and get this thing ripped open, see what we got going on here. All right, don't want to rip the box too much. Put all this nice plastic all over it, which everyone's in love with, obviously. <laughs> all right. So yeah, I was mainly switching routers because I do run a lot of systems in my home. Got a lot of uh, cameras, Wi-Fi cameras, PoE cameras. Um, got you know a lot of TVs in the house and uh, a lot of systems that need to run off of a Wi-Fi system and. Unfortunately, the one that I, I'm using now is the TP-Link AC1750 router, which uh, unfortunately is just not working. I don't know if this is a bad one, but everyone that I talked to said it was a great router, and then it also did have phenomenal reviews on Amazon, but for whatever reason, it just crashes all the time. It doesn't hold Wi-Fi that well. Um, it's been a, a nightmare like of a router which I'm very upset about because it has such raving reviews on it so um, I didn't even want to mess around with another one because that's how I am once I get a, a bad taste in my mouth I don't want it anymore so I don't care if it was a bad one or not not my problem I don't want to deal with it I'm going to return it I only had it for like literally three and a half weeks and first week it was okay but then once once I got into like second third week I kept noticing I had to restart it a lot and then I would go out to log on to my PoE cameras from work and they wouldn't even load half the time. And I was like, okay. So that prompted me to say, you know, I'm going to spend a little bit more money and I'm going to go ahead and get a more high performance router as this one. And uh, hopefully this is going to be the one because I did have a Tenda router for oh, about a year and that thing kicked ass, man. That thing rocked and uh, I paid just like, I think shy of 75 bucks for it. And uh, it, was a, it was more of a high performance router. Had 600 megabytes per second on 2.4 gigahertz, and then I think 1300 megabytes per second on 5, 5 gigahertz, which was really phenomenal. We never, my girlfriend and I, never had issues with that connection-wise. Um, it started with the TP-Link. She was telling me she had a bunch of connection issues all the time with her phone. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I said, I'm going to return that and go ahead and get this bad boy right here. After long researching and, and looking, this is the one I kept coming up to. Um, and then for the price, I mean, I think I paid just under 140 for this. So it's not bad, if, especially if it is a nice high performance router like they claim it is. So go ahead and get this opened up, see what we got going inside. 
And like I said, most routers only have like two antennas, maybe three on, on a more stable high performance router, but this one right here actually is, is hosting four. So I'm very excited to see how that's gonna work out. So, all right. So, get this bad boy out of the box. If it wants to come out. There we go. All right. Let's set that box to the side. This comes with your paperwork for the set. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the oh, connection settings on the Google Home app. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that because I didn't even say anything related to... The mic's off. Yep, turn that off. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I don't know even what, what's up with that. I didn't even... You obviously heard me. I didn't see anything saying, like, hey, Google, or nothing. So, all right. So let me go back to the unboxing. Sorry about that. All right. So, yep. Comes with uh, your actual system startup guide paperwork and pretty much everything included in here. Just gonna tell you how to connect it, and it's these are all pretty straightforward. I mean, you can connect them via the WPS button, um, connecting to your your actual modem, or you can just go into download the app, which they do include that on the quick install card. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at this bad guy. Wow, it's got the antennas already. Just want to make sure we don't have anything else in here. So it does come with your flat Ethernet cable, which is kind of cool. It's a flat one, so as you can tell, it's really thin. So you do get that, and you get your power adapter brick, obviously, to power the whole thing up. So set that to the side. So that's pretty much it. Those two things, box is empty, nothing else in there. Set that down. All right, so let's open this bad boy right here. Got it nice and wrapped up, as you can tell. Get all that out of the way. And yeah, they got it covered at the top too. So we're gonna peel that off. All right. So overall, nice finish. It's got some uh, holes right here, as you can tell. So that's gonna let some of the heat dissipation out of there. So that's kind of good, um, considering most routers don't have that, but yeah, nice heat dissipa dissipation down here as well with all the, the fanning vents, as you can tell. So, really nice. And the overall face is just really, really clean looking. It's got a real nice look to it, like it's very uh, high performance. And then, of course, you got your four antennas. Look at that. These boys are ready to play. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. That's going to look beastly. I hope it works as good as it looks. And then, of course, you got your four Ethernet connectors down here, your actual uh, line connector that goes into the modem system, and then you got your WPS button, your Wi-Fi button, your plug-in button, your power button, and then here's one of your USB ports in this very corner right there. And then I believe the other one is in the front. Yep, right there. So overall, it looks really good so far so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up uh it's pretty straightforward and then what i'll do is i'll make a follow-up video regarding the performance on it and if it's worth for you to make this purchase and we'll go from there so thanks for tuning in i'll catch you guys on the next one